Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Repair Tutorials, all in for no fluff. Been a long time. What's up, my glib globs? So we got another community question today about splitting octaves, which is really useful for performing. When you're playing keys, you may want to split your keyboard so that the lower octaves play, for example, a bass sound and the higher octaves play like a keyboard sound. So I got this bass sound. Let's listen to it. And I got this key sound. I want to split my octaves so the lower octaves play the bass, the higher octaves play the keys. And that's easily possible using JS MIDI note filter, which is a free JS plugin that you can get in Repack. So this makes for one of the easiest ways of doing this where you don't have to set up extra instruments on different channels, you don't have to do a bunch of routing, and you don't have to modify your keyboard because some MIDI keyboards, for example, allow you to split different octaves to different channels. My keyboard doesn't allow this, so I like to send everything from channel one, just play everything on channel one, and then just have Reaper take care of the rest. And all you got to do in this plugin is to set your lowest and highest keys. So these are note numbers. I have shown you this cheat sheet before, but right now it's on the screen as well if you want to screenshot it. And that's every MIDI note number corresponding to each note. But a good rule of thumb is to remember that every C is a multiple of 12. So C minus 2 is 0, 12 is C minus 1, C0 is 24, and C1 is 36. So I want my bass to start at C1 and then go about one and a half octaves. So I want it to go to the... A flat on one octave above. So one octave is 48 plus eight semitones is 56. And I set that here. So now if I play my bass, it's playing all these notes. And if I go beyond note 56, which is that A flat, you can see that it's sending a MIDI note, but no sound is being triggered because they're being filtered out. And then on my keys, I have the same thing and I'm starting it at 57, which is the A after my A flat, and it goes all the way to the end. And there's also this option here, other events, CC, etc., pass through. And I have that set to no for my keys, but I have it set to yes on my bass. And that means if I do something like a pitch bend, that will apply to my bass, but it won't apply to my keys notes. And now I basically select both tracks and I have the record arm set to automatic record arm when track selected. So this is good if I want to hot swap. So if I want to mid performance, for example, select another bass, then I can do that. So right now I can play both of them together. And when you want to record, you get this message. You are about to record with multiple tracks set to the same input. This will result in multiple copies of the same audio. Are you sure? Just say yes to that. This is a more of a big deal if you're recording audio. For MIDI, it's not really a big deal. So if I just start recording. Something you can see is that now both sets of notes are recorded on both tracks, which is not something we want. A really quick fix for that is to select all your tracks that you're trying to split and go to record output MIDI. And now if I start recording. And now you can see that our bass notes were recorded up there and the keys were recorded down there. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We did a poll recently about what type of content y'all want. And for a while, the clear winner was MIDI editing, but then SWS features also caught up. So they're dead even right now. You can still go and keep voting if you want. But for now, the general plan is I do one MIDI tutorial and then one about SWS. Until we run out of SWS stuff, then we can do something else. Specific suggestions are welcome in any of the comments. So just let me know what you need help with. I'll get right on it. Thanks to everybody who wished me well. I'm all better. I can even have coffee now, which is really nice. I also like coffee. And if you like the work I do, please consider donating to me through buymeacoffee.com. The link will be in the description. Thanks to all our previous donors. Thank you for watching and keeping the channel alive while I was holding on to dear life. Not really, though. I was just really laying there and they were doing blood tests. And uh, I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.